So first I wanna start with a question. Have you been around a covert narcissist? And if so, what are some of the things you've heard them say when they are gaslighting you, when they're diminishing your worth, when they are devaluing you? Or what are some of the things they say when they're trying to get away with something? Let me know in the comments and let's just get a list out there of some of the things we hear from covert narcissistic people in relationships or if they're your parents, right? That's a relationship too. Okay, so let's get started. I'm Lise Colucci. Hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I'm here to help you with things related to narcissistic relationships, toxic relationships, and healing from them, more importantly. <laughs> okay, so what are some of the phrases that you hear? So one thing that they do, a covert narcissist will dismiss your feelings. They will diminish your feelings. It's a dismissive sort of behavior that they have about everything you do. And some of the things you might hear are, what are you complaining for? You're always so negative. It's really not that bad. I don't know why you're making such a big deal out of this. I just don't understand what your problem is here. Okay, things like that, to dismiss and diminish your feelings and cause you to think twice about how you're acting or get really frustrated and feel really unheard. Another thing they might do is blame everything on you. Like in phrases like, I wouldn't have done that if you hadn't have done this, or you see what you made me do this time. You see how you make me act, things like that. So they might make you feel ridiculed or criticized and they might do it in a subtle way or a very passive aggressive way or use humor to do it so they might use use you as a put down in a humorous situation or point out your flaws in a way that is humorous and then come back with oh you're so sensitive i was just joking you can't take a joke all right so there's one way that's not actually a phrase but the phrase is going to be really personal and specific there, right? Where they're using you as a joke. You know what I'm talking about if you've been there, where someone is joking and you are the subject of that joke. And then when you say, I don't like that, that that hurts my feelings, they say, oh, your feelings, everything's about your feelings. Or they say, you know, gosh, can't you take a joke? Or this, you're always so serious. You, you know, I thought you, I thought you had some humor, get some humor. And, and they dismiss it again. So this isn't really a thing they say, but it's kind of a thing they do while they're not saying is you can be talking to them about something, especially if it's something they don't want to be listening to or something that they don't, would have to take accountability for. And the narcissistic person, especially the covert narcissist, will change the subject or will talk to other things in the room or about other things in the room. Basically, they, they pretend they're distracted and look away and start doing something else or say, oh, oh, this over here, you know, and they don't, they don't approach the thing you're talking about and they dismiss you. And the words they would use there are going to be the same each time within the specific situations, right? Like, so they may um, play with a cat or a dog or, or their phone and have specific phrases that they use and you're, you, you hear them over. And then a big one that the narcissistic person loves to use is they deny everything. I didn't say that. What are you talking about? I never said that. When did I say that? I didn't say anything like that. Basically, you're crazy, right? They may not come right out and say you're crazy, but they might. And it's dismissing again and deflecting and changing the subject so that they don't have to talk about what they don't want to talk about or take any accountability yet again. So what are some phrases that you have heard covert narcissists use to manipulate? Let me know. And if you need any help with anything regarding coaching or group coaching, check out the information in every video. If you need peer support, there's information there as well. And I will see you guys next time. Hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe. Bye-bye.